Hey, hey, mommy time viewers. So I debated on whether this should be YouTube or Instagram, but I kind of realized the following on one is not always the following on the other. So super quick video, but this has come up twice in the same day and I really feel like it's important. Um, but I posted a video and one of the comments I got, which is why I love comments and I'm just multitasking with this um, bamboo sponge, but one of the comments was, well, what do you do about buildup? And I'm going to post the, the screenshots of kind of the comment flow. And I was like, the first thing out of my mouth was like, what about it? Um, I just started these micro locks but, um, as a do-it-yourself. You can go back and watch that video like two months ago, October. So, and since then, I kind of watched it early and I've told you guys that I co-washed once a week. So, I'm like, I have an experience buildup. I don't even really see dirt, but that's why I say I know my hair. So, you know, it's still the same hair, even though it's locked up. So I've been treating it the same as I would, you know, for moisture and texture, the same as before I locked it, which is why I co-wash once a week. And let me just explain, the co-wash isn't heavy. It's one pass with conditioner. And I usually put the conditioner on first and just make sure I rinse it really good when I get in the shower. Um, if you watch, the last video, my routine is to retie, put put the conditioner, you know, not a lot amount, but get my hair in conditioner, put a plastic bag on, walk around, and then I get in the shower and rinse it out thoroughly. And that's it. That That is my co-wash. And it might not exactly be once a week. It might be once every 10 days, but my scalp needs to, you know, fill it and my curls, you know, my curls and my texture need that moisture and my hair needs it. So... I have personally not experienced buildup, but then the same comment came up on um, an Instagram post. I was commenting on another young lady's beautiful micro locks and I've asked her permission to post this comment thread and someone said, you know, if you're somewhere, she was using like um, uh, coconut oil or something and somebody said, if you are in a really cold climate, that is gonna start to cake up on your hair. Now, first thing is I never thought to use coconut oil other than greasing my scalp maybe and I haven't even done that um on my hair I use it on my boys but I never thought about that and I am in Charlotte North Carolina so even in winter we do get a little crispy but just the other day it was 65 so it's a little mild it goes back and forth but my routine and I apologize I don't have my spray bottle but if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel Go back and look at the video on how to use oil and water to separate and keep your curls from tangling because that really for me is the only everyday thing I use and the water lightens it up. It's not a lot. You know, I hop in the shower in the morning. I don't tie my hair down. So if it gets a little wet or a little moisture, that's okay. I get out. I you know, style it how I want. And then I spray mostly my ends with an oil and water mix, which is the mango... Um, it comes from mango and lime. I don't have the oil, but, um, sorry, that's not even the right brand. It's a, um, mango and lime, Jamaican mango and lime. They have a oil. They have a lot of oil. So I use the, the oil for lots. I mix it with water and I put just a dab, like less than half a teaspoon of olive oil because olive oil is heavy, but sometimes I need that. And when it dries, you know, within 20 minutes or so of me walking out the house or whatever, which is why I don't spray my scalp because it's winter, the curls are perfect, but they're not hard. They're not crunchy. So I get it. If you use product every day, like mousse and curl defining cream and all that crap, if you use that on a daily basis, I could imagine you would get some buildup, but I have not had buildup at the root. I have not seen buildup in any retie process i have not seen any build up in my twist or the part that is already interlocked like i have not experienced that so my first thought was to do the same thing that i would do with my natural hair if, if i felt like my natural hair had build up i would take a smaller spray bottle i have one it hasn't been used in a while it's probably a little gunky and i would put a quarter, like a third of apple cider vinegar at the bottom. I would put a teaspoon of baking soda, which is gonna bubble a little bit. And I would fill almost to the top with water. I would, if I did see the buildup or even once every two months, three months, maybe, I will put that mixture together, 
I will saturate my hair with it and walk around with a plastic cap on for hours maybe. And then finally, I would rinse that out and I would not follow that with um, shampoo or conditioner or anything. Um, that would be the point where I would just wash that out really, really good. Definitely get that um, smell out of my hair. And I would maybe put on curl defining cream as it dries or mousse, you know, something light. But I feel like that process works for, you know, just our hair naturally anyway. So my suggestion to this young lady was use apple cider vinegar, but the mixture with baking soda, apple cider vinegar, it's not only a cleanse for your hair and a detox to like let your pores breathe, it helps to absorb once your pores of your, your hair shaft are clean and even your scalp, you'd be surprised just baking soda alone is a great thing to put in your bath every once in a while to brush your teeth with. So baking soda alone, scrubbing your scalp will promote growth. I mean, as far as I've experienced. So that would be my number one suggestion if you are newly locked up or wanting to go with this process and build up is something that you've heard or even seen on someone else um, to do the apple cider vinegar wash, even if it's by itself. But I say do the baking soda mix because it, it's definitely going to help you retain moisture for whatever you follow with as your styling um, or your leave-in conditioner. But I want to open it up because I feel like on YouTube, guys, this micro lock community, the lock community, the lock nation, we've got to do more to communicate. So I welcome all feedback, whatever your method is. I would love to try it. If you have a video on build up that I could watch, give us the link. Let's all start to get engaged to help each other as we figure out what's the best thing for us. So a lot of us, you know, a lot of y'all go to locticians, but there is a handful of us that are so in love with this but we're budget friendly and we just maybe are up for the challenge we are a total diy community we're doing it ourselves which means we're gonna do it ourselves maintain it ourselves and we're gonna experiment till we find the right routine but that right routine is also gonna be somebody else's so let's come together as a community you guys tell me if you've experienced build up what does it look like what does it feel like what do you think caused it and what have you found that can fix it and then i'm not ready to do a video on the apple cider vinegar and if i ever have build up i'll show you but when i'm ready for you know a cleanse which i don't think i need right now i'm, I'm soft i'm fluffy i'm light you know and i just tried a new product saturday so um when i'm ready i'll do the video and we'll see if it makes a difference um but you guys tell me, let's be, let's become this tight knit, do it yourself community. And you guys tell me what you do for build up. Um, and let's go from there. But I'm gonna post this both places. So follow me on Instagram at mommy time with Miss Kia J, M I S S K I A J, or vice versa. If you're already a follower and you're seeing this on Instagram, click the link in the bio, subscribe to my channel, push the little bell for notifications, and, um, Let's engage and, and make sure everybody, this is a movement. It's everywhere. We are rocking our natural crown. So let's engage with each other and become a community of support. That is what mommies do. But I'm about to get into this bath because I'm not doing hair today. I'm going to put my honey, my, um, if you haven't watched this video, this is so working right now. This Earth to Skin by Walmart. I'm going to order the the super fruit next but um this is awesome so i'm about to get my skin routine on i'm about to take my bath i got my candle smelling like christmas tree um so let's do it guys i cannot wait to hear what you say and and see what you ladies are doing i will see you next mommy time